I truly cannot think of anything more valuable than clean drinking water. And we take it so for granted mm -hmm. and we shouldn't because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's not the case in the world, right? No, it's not at all the case in the world. Um, and that was sort of my uh, epiphany that led me to create Blue Gold Works. Mm -hmm. uh, story is uh, when I became a mother and looked into the faces of my sons, I uh, suddenly realized that I had a, a kind of sacred responsibility to leaving the planet in a better place for the next generation. Yeah. So I looked around for a worthy problem because I assumed that I'd be working on this for 15 or 20 years right. and I wanted it to be worthwhile. I wanted it to be, even if I could make a small uh, impact, uh, I wanted it to be an important problem to solve. Right. Uh, so I kept, I did my due diligence. I looked around uh, and I educated myself on what the problems in the world were. And I kept coming back to water. Yeah. Water seems to be such a central issue for solving a lot of global problems and planetary problems. Um, did you know that 60% of the deaths of children under the age of five are from waterborne illnesses? And um, girls, yeah, girls are most burdened by the task of uh, gathering water. And because they're on those long treks, taking hours, um, they're at danger when they do that, they don't often get a chance to go to school. And we all know without an education, you just don't have a good chance for making your life better. So um, it all comes back to, I, I suddenly had my problem. Uh, my problem was how do I create a system that would, or a business that would allow uh, young women to filter and sell their own water locally without exposing themselves to, to these harms and giving them a chance to uh, have more time to go to school and giving their families a chance to have a little bit more money so they could afford the school fees.